guys, it's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Oh my God, today in Newcastle it is so hot. I had a different top on, thought I'd go for something com com comfortable and comfortable, uh, comfortable and comfortable, comfortable and colourful. Uh, and I wore like a little green jumper, which I think you have seen before. And honestly, I've just been dying. And my hair is like so, f I mean, it needs cutting, but it's so frizzy from the, like, the heat and the humidity. Ugh. Anyway, I'm barefaced because I've got two other videos to record, but I thought I would record my empties. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the massive stash. I have got three months worth of empties here. So I'm just gonna dive straight into it. Um, please, I, I'm not gonna maybe go into, because there is so much, I might not go into a big, massive, in-depth thing unless it's something that really shouts out to me, okay? Right, let's let's go for it. First of all, I'm gonna start with all these loose packets on my desk. I have absolutely loads. So we're just gonna go through them. So the first thing I've got here is the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Dermacare Technology Sheet Mask. I got this in TJ Maxx in America in 2019. Yes, I hold on to my skincare like so bad so bad but you will see from this video that I am really trying my hardest to plow through everything use it to an extent where I can enjoy it but also maybe being a little bit more liberal because you know fresh is best and I shouldn't be having things that are really really old anyway if I'm being honest there was nothing to write home about this sheet mask so far my favorite sheet mask well my two favorite sheet masks that I've ever used is going to be the Huda Wishful Thirst Trap sheet mask and then another sheet mask that I've got in here which I'm going to show you in a second. I then got, this is the latest sheet mask I've tried and actually got loads of liquid in the bottom. This is the Blooming Face Mask White Tea. It's supposed to be hydrating. Um, again, oh my God, there's hairs everywhere. I shed like a dog. Um, again, this was nice, but nothing special. Nothing that made me think, ah, oh, yes. This has made my skin feel unreal. And it goes again with the Medi Flower um, Sheet Mask. I This one was very wet, like, unbelievably wet and this came out of the face mask club subscription box i'll leave a link up or down below um about that but it was nice but because it was so wet it was just like a no if you know what i mean it was just slopping all over the place and i, I couldn't be bothered with that okay and the last sheet mask i have and this is my second favorite sheet mask this is the garnier neutral bomb milky tissue sheet mask in coconut these are super affordable i think they're a couple of pounds uh, i normally get them when they're on offer they smell unreal and they make your skin feel amazing so that if you're on a bit of a budget or if you're feeling a bit bougie and you want a bougie uh, sheet mask the huda or the sorry the wishful skin thirst trap uh, sheet mask because they're fun they, I, and I like how thick they are, they sit still, they don't slide down your face. Okay, what else have we got in packet wise? I use the uh, Minus 417 Serenity Dead Sea Salt Bath Salt from one of the Glossy Box um, subscriptions. I did think this would have a smell to it, but it's purely salt. And you know, as sea salt goes, it's sea salt, it does its thing. Would I probably pay as much as what this is worth? Which I'm not too sure how much it is, but I can tell by the packaging it's probably a lot. No because it's just sea salt. There's, there was no butters in it, there was no smell to it. It, it, it frustrated me because it, in the description somewhere, it was making out as if you could, that's it, you could smell something. It says, we will awaken your senses through a full and natural experience like you've never had before. See incredible results, touch unique textures, smell amazing fragrances, listen to yourself and to the planet's sources. Beauty can, beauty you can sense. I think that's supposed to be a general thing for across the whole brand, but I read that that this was going to have a lovely smell. It doesn't. It just smells of nothing, which it was a bit of a shame. Next, we have some homemade bath salts by my friend Amy. We exchanged me, and my fr me, Amy, and Joe. Uh, we exchanged some little cute. Christmas gift boxes and so she made homemade bath soak, Epsom salts, lavender flowers, rosebuds, cocoa butter and lavender oil. It was lovely. The little little cocoa butter bits and it made the skin nice and stuff. And it looked really pretty as well because of all the lavender and rosebud flowers. Then for my birthday, my or, or Christmas, my uh, my best friend Karen got me the Glasgow Soap Company Iron Brew Epsom salts. 
apparently I like salts it like the past year. Um, this literally smells like iron brew and they're amazing. So if you if you like iron brew, they do the iron brew smell and flavour in lots of other things. And it turns to bath bright orange. Um, then we've got two things from Bath Big Love. I've got some more stuff from Bath Big Love, but I thought I'd show off the packets first. This is the end of the the yellow brick road bath melt that I bought from, I'll put up here, this little haul, finish that off, it was very nice, it, didn't ha it just smelled more like cocoa butter than anything in particular. Then I won a competition that they were doing with I Love Crafty, it had like a cute little ferris wheel, big wheel, pin, moving pin badge and also some goodies from Bath Big Love and this was one of them, it was the Pantone Cotton Candy bath foam and it says fairy snow queen bath fizz i think we can all establish what the smell that's supposed to be and it was really fizzy and it was really yummy as as bath fizzes are they also included how cute is this it's a little teddy bear bubble bath and this was a lovely kind of deep pink color and it's let's see if i can get a smell in there yeah it's like a strawberry sugary sweet deliciousness it was really, really lovely and it lasted ages. So again, check out their bubble baths because they're fab. Okay, so that's all like the little bit, itty bitty bits and I'm just having a look here going, oh my God, where do I start now? Oh, there's so much stuff. Okay, right. We got some super dry. This is Alex's super dry shampoo and conditioner two in one. I finished it off, so I thought I would include it in the empties. Get it from a Christmas gift set. It smells quite nice. I've got some fragrance, not a lot of fragrance, but some fragrance. So I finished off this Avon Patchouli Indulgence Artistic Purse Spray Perfume. Let's see if I've got any left. Ooh. And it's just a really lovely, strong smell. It actually smells like a different perfume. I'm so sorry if you can see like black on my fingers, I've been painting a fence. But it's a really, really lovely, lovely smell and I would definitely buy a full size bottle of that. We've also got a teeny tiny one of the Avon Artistic Oud Grandeur perfume. This is nice, it's very floral, it's not the Oud that I think of. When I think of Oud, I think of like the really dark, deep, rich, woody smells. This is very light and floral, um, so if you like the idea of Oud but you want something a little bit lighter and not too heavy, then I just realised I'm out of focus. Well done, Sarah. So yeah, so if you like the sound of like Oud but you don't want anything too strong, give the Oud Gandro Grand Dieu, Grand Dieu? from Avon ago. And then both Amy and Joe sent me two versions of the this works spray so i've got the love sleep pillow spray and the deep sleep pillow spray i just use them as body sprays this one is a very heady lavender smell but the love one i really enjoy it's so herbal um i'm gonna if it got anything left i'm gonna spritz them in here no it's got none left but i would i would wear that as a fragrance it's super herbal it's just a lovely lovely smell i don't they're quite strong so i don't think i could have those as pillow sprays but i would definitely like i say wear those as fragrances now i've got lots of stuff for the hair so i'm just gonna move some stuff over because i have like i say been plowing through everything at almost an alarming rate but it must be because i have lots of maybe half used stuff so the first thing I've got here is the CN, which is a little bit of a, its Lidl's own version of the Tresemme Deep Intense Moisture Conditioner. I use, I got this because I was using the Shrine Total Drops or Control, no, that's Control Drops as NYX, but the, the hair dye drops from Shrine, I'll put the video up here, and I was using this as a mixing medium. Why would I use expensive conditioners if I'm going to use it for dyeing hair? No, but this actually, it, it lasted a very long time, it's like two pounds or something, and yeah, for a, for a cheap conditioner, it did what it did. Then on the on cheap kind of conditioners and shampoos, I finish off the Avon Argan Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner set. These all have the same smell, doesn't matter what what version of the shampoos and conditioners that you buy from Avon, they all have the same smell. It's quite a nice refreshing general hair care smell. Nothing to write home about, but it's very, very nice. I got two things from Lush for hair, Daddy O shampoo. Oh my god, I've been using this bottle for forever. I got this in January 2020, and I only finished it maybe last month. And then the sea spray, 
uh, this was August 20 and I finished that uh, like last uh, start of this month um, I love Daddy it's a purple violet shampoo it's not as strong as other brands in terms of like the toning aspect but I do like it because it smells really good makes my hair really soft um, it still does tone my hair but just not as strong as other sorry I'm just like I've just sneezed but not as much as other ones then I've got the sea spray and sea salt uh, hair mist love the smell of this it's so fresh it is um curbside violet scented i think it's absolutely beautiful there's something about the smell of violet leaf and then that like kind of sea watery kind of smell i think it's got neroli in it has it got neroli in it yeah it's got neroli the neroli in there is really really lovely and uplifting it's just fabulous and if you want a bit of texture and volume in your hair go for it give it a try then for another leave-in treatment I've got the Charles Worthington Moisture Seal Leave-in Healing Hair Conditioner and it's got great intensely nourished hair that's instantly five times softer. A blend of five nourishing oils penetrates deep into the hair shaft leaving hair three times smoother. I mean I, I can't say that I noticed all that, all the stuff that it's trying to claim but it did make my hair feel nice and it smells wonderful. I think it was about six pounds and I would probably buy that again because it smells really really good. Then I've got <clears throat> some hair masks. This is the Garnier uh, Hair Food Papaya and Amla. Now you know I like the banana, but I'm now a convert to the papaya. The papaya, I don't even like papaya as a food to eat, but this, this papaya hair mask, it just smells like oh, summer holidays. Holidays, it's got like this tang to it. It's just delicious and it's just the best thing ever. And then the last for the hair care is from Lee Stafford. This is Lee Stafford's Choco Locks. Please go on, if you like Lee Stafford stuff, Lee Stafford stuff's quite expensive. Um, and I've used it for years and years and years. And I always used to just wait till Boots sent me vouchers before I got anything. Because, you know, as a student and as a, as a young person, um, without really a job, I couldn't really afford Lee Stafford. But I like what it did for my hair. Now, there's loads of Lee Stafford in Home Bargains. I've just went and bought a, a blow dry cream from there the other day for £1.99. And Lee Stafford stuff's about six, seven pounds. Which actually, when I think about it, probably isn't that expensive. But when I was a student, it was very expensive. But... You can't really see it here, but it's a it's a hair mask, and it literally smells like chocolate. I was a very mm, about getting it because I don't really like the smell of chocolate in body care, hair care products because it can smell quite artificial. But this smells really good, and it says buttercream treatment, and it does smell like chocolate buttercream. It smells really good, and I will say this is one. Of, this is a really, 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 really lovely hair mask. I do love his hair treatment, the Moroccan. The Moroccan argan oil leave-in treatment that he does, or a hair mask, is really, really good and it smells incredible. I did do a review. If you do a deep dive through my channel, you will see the review. It's a bit cringe because I'm very awkward. Okay, I'm going to get some stuff. Is that all the stuff by Soap and Glory? Yes. So I've got three things from Soap and Glory. Can you believe it? I feel like I would have more, but I don't. I finished off the smoothie breakfast scrub. You guys all know that I am queen of... Soap and Glory, I love Soap and Glory, and you know that their scrubs are some of my favourite formula ever, and just the breakfast smoothie one is so thick, and just scrubby, and it smells like you could eat yourself, oh, I love it. Um, I finish off the uh, hand food in Sugar Crush, I love the smell of the Sugar Crush, it's very limey, and I love the hand foods because they soak in so lovely and quickly which is what you want. My new phone case is, is plastic, so it's my hands are constantly slipped inside, so it does soak in nice and quickly. And then I had this in my handbag. This is the Naughty But Spice Body Spray. Very sad that this is finished because I love the smell. I don't think this was a very popular scent at Christmas because it was one of the Christmas smells, but I thought it was really bloody good and I really, really miss it. And I wish, you know, it would be like, maybe they rebranded it to something else because it's such a lovely smell. Such a lovely, lovely, lovely smell. What else have we got? I've got two hand soaps. One from uh, Bayless and Harden. Alex got this. It's the lavender one. It's made appearance quite a few times. Oh, done a good job of cleaning that out. And then the other one is the Cushions Carex Drumstick Squashies. Me and Alex are currently addicted to squashies at the moment. We keep buying them. <sighs> They're so delicious. Both smell amazing. I can't fault the lavender smell. This smells not identical to a squashy but very similar to a squashy but i will say the pump is horrific it just the the i don't know if it's the the hand soap itself or if it is the pump i think it's the pump it just 
fires the stuff across and then it like strings down and it just leaves a right mess and you end up going through it a lot more quickly than what you think you would. So I wouldn't buy that again because it ruins squashies and the pump is really, really rubbish. Okay, next up is face care. I'm trying to mix in all the Lush stuff because I honestly, I have so much stuff. Um, empties wise, I didn't want it to, ooh, sorry. I didn't want it to all just be like Lush in one go. So the first thing I finished off was the Skin & Co liquid face wash this smells like coconuts and holidays it smells really really good and actually for a liquid cleanser uh, or a gel cleanser it didn't strip my skin like what i thought it would and if this is quite cheap and i was wanting a liquid cleanser i would probably buy this again because it smells so good i would actually like that i'm not even a coconutty person but i would probably quite enjoy that in like a body lotion that'd be quite nice i finish off some simple uh, eye makeup remover from my cherries haul this was actually really good i i bought like i remember years ago i bought like a wilkinson's version of like this and it didn't do the job so i, I had in my head that this was going to be rubbish because of the wilkinson's one but it was really really good and i think for how cheap it is on the cherries app i'll leave a link down below so you can save some money off with my coupon and through the link but it was really really good i think it was like a pound for a bottle i mean a pound for simple can't go wrong and then okay we've got a lot of lush skincare so i finished off some bouche de noel uh, clay cleanser smells like christmas i've got one two three four face masks so i've got the avocado ice cream love the feeling of this and i love the smell of it it's so tart and tangy it's lovely and smooth it also feels a little bit whipped I think that's because of the avocado in there. It was absolutely gorgeous. Glen Coco, this is actually from the February Fresh and Flowers box and I didn't get to use it all up. When I went to open it to use it up last night, there was a little bit of mold in it. So I did get about three faces out of that one, but I think I could have gotten a couple more out of it. BB Seaweed, standard beautiful face mask. And then Pink Brush Strokes, they need to bring this one out or they need to do something with this smell. The smell is beautiful. It's pomegranate, pineapple juice. It's got a bit of geranium in there. It's, it's like sweet and floral, but the geranium doesn't overtake it. It lifts the smell. It's really good. And as a face mask, it's very nice. It's a very, very nice face mask. It's nice and gentle. So if you liked something smooth, like say for example, you want something like Cosmetic Warrior, but you want it to be vegan. I would, I'm just gonna make sure, I think brush strokes is vegan. Um, yeah, I mean the pink one is, so I imagine that the, the, the normal brush strokes is vegan. Go check out brush strokes because you might enjoy that one. Then I finished off the turmeric roll. I, so this is actually a snowberry pot, but what I did was I've been putting my cleansers that I get from Fresh and Flowers in pots just to reuse them. But I had the turmeric roll. So I finished the turmeric roll, the aloe bamboo roll, and the alipi of faith roll. And I have to say my absolute favorite one out of the two new fresh sugar rolls is the aloe bamboo one. That the castor sugar with the bamboo stem it's just that fine polish that I really enjoy with the face scrub. It's that bamboo, I'm telling you, because I've been using Smuggler Soul that I got from the kitchen box, and it's just such, you, you scoop up what, what only feels like a tiny bit, and it just polishes the whole face. It's so good. They need to do more stuff with the bamboo stem, for sure, hands down, hands down. Um, and then I finished off also a pot of Beauty Sleep face mask. Absolutely beautiful face mask. So pampering, so gorgeous. I just. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put these, I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to put these straight into my big carrier bag filled with pots. Okay. Then we've got some body care, body washes and stuff like that. So I'm going to put these to one side. I've only got a handful of body washes. Oh, I, I forgot a few things for hair and face, but I'll show you that at the end. Um, so the first thing I finished off was this bottle of Bath and Body Works, A Thousand Wishes of Sheer Vitamin E Shower Gel. My friend Vera got me this. It smells, it looks Christmassy, but it's not. And it's just a very sweet, fruity scented shower gel. It's very nice, it's very strong. I, I will say that Bath and Body Works stuff is very strongly scented. I love it though. And then I've got two body stuff from Bath and Body, uh, Bath Baked Love. I've got the Cotton Candy Pink Sugar and the Fairy Cookie. These are both, yeah, sugar whip scrubs. 
I like sugar whip scrubs, they're very light in scrub, so it's more like of a wash. But they smell good, and I, I really like, is it the cotton candy one? I can't, I've washed it too well, but the cotton candy one was delicious, absolutely delicious. Then I finished off a bottle of Karma shower gel from the kitchen, but now you can get it in store called Good Karma. So that's why I kind of power through it, because I was like, well, I don't need to hold on to this. They sell it in the shop now, I can enjoy it in the shop. I finished off, but well, I used this all in one go. This is the Blossom Shower, um, and it was colour changing, so it went from pink to like a purple colour. So I hope that they do more stuff with the colour changing products because it was really fun to see how it looks like one thing and then turns out to be another. And then what else we got? We got stuff for the bath, like bubble baths and stuff. So I finished off these three um, Champneys, Champneys uh, bubble baths. This one here, I think it's the dark purple one. Is it the dark purple one or is it the pink one? They all smell amazing. No, it's this one. So they all smell amazing and actually I really got into these because I bought them for my mom a few years ago and then she didn't end up using them. So I used them and then she bought me some for Christmas. These are fantastic bubbles. They make so many bubbles, so many bubbles. They, they are quite a thick gel and so when they're in the pot, it is a bit like, trying to get some of it out but this pink one is my favorite one it's summer dream and it just smells so good it's supposed to be peach mango orange and passion fruit to name a few i don't get any of that but they smell fab and if you are wanting some more bougie bubble baths i don't know how much these are worth i just wait till they come on offer at christmas time then try champneys because they're quite nice i'm just going to put these here i'm quite excited because the bin man hasn't been yet and i'm looking forward to uh, putting all this stuff in the bin <laughs> God. And then we've got the Candied Lime Bubble Bath from Bath Bake Love. I'll, again, the, the links for all the, the haul is in there. And this literally smells like one of those, those um, chocolate limes. It's really limey. It's yummy. And I would get the bubble syrups again. Then we've got some body scrubs. Body scrubs, body scrubs, body scrubs. Orange Body Scrub by Lush. Literally smells like fresh squeezed oranges it is delicious i love it love it i love it love it i finish off my last one of the boots live plus b beautiful connection scrub this was a very thick scrub but it went foamy it went foamy when you got it wet it was great a really lovely thick scrub and i got this really cheap so always have a look in boots to see what the scrub situation is because you might get a nice deal on that and then i've been making some scrubs so i had a go at making a body scrub i'll tell you more about that in the future but um it was nice i just put too much mica in so it's um very blue very very blue and i couldn't wash it all out for some reason i'm just gonna put that straight in the bin um we've got a little roll-on from avon i've been using their roll-ons for years and this was a ma like a manly a one from the men's section i don't know which one it was but it smelled really good smell really really good then we've got some uh, random stuff here I've got some things from feather down now I got these for either Christmas or Easter off my mom because I was like I want these smell really nice I want a gift set can I have this for a special this is what I do with my mom sometimes I'll see something I really want and I'll go can I have that for my birthday can I have that for Christmas and then she'll put it away for that time um, sounds like it sounds like a uh, what most people would do, but I do it well in advance. Like, I might see that something in March and be like, can I have that for my birthday? My birthday's not till November. Anyway, so I got, it came with a soap, a shower gel, and then these two. So the best thing out of the set was the room spray, well, pill mist. Very strong, very heady lavender, that's lovely. Then the body lotion. Everything else was a bit naff. It wasn't for me. Then I finished off the last of my large versions of the KVD Vegan Beauty Go Big or Go Home Mascara. If I'm being honest, it's just a rubbish mascara when it's in the big form. When it's in a small version, it is absolutely fine. Like the, the Try Me one, it's a very dry formula and it's just super clumpy and disappointing. But the little, the little kind of, do I have one in here? Yeah, little version, spot on. I don't understand what is wrong. Maybe it's the component, maybe it's like when it pulls it out, it's just not very good. 
who knows? For skincare, I also forgot to put this in, but I finished off the Lacura Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner, a little dupe for the Pixi Glow one. Save probably about £15 if you buy this one. It's lovely. Makes your skin lovely and glowy, as the name says. Then we'll finish off with the random things I've got from Lush. I forgot this other hair. I finished off a pot of Hachuan. Uh, my hair is so dry and, and quite long at the moment. I just put the whole pot on my hair. Really saturated on there. And I left it on for quite a long time last night. But I finished that off there. I love that hair mask. What else we got? I finished off one, two, three, four body lotions and two body conditioners so i finished off my lime bounty body butter happy blooming body lotion sakura body lotion from christmas and a little pot of karma cream i would have to say my favorite lotion out of all these ones is the happy blooming and again very strange because i'm not a marzipani type of person but it was an absolutely gorgeous smell and um, I think they should maybe bring that back for maybe a Christmas body lotion just because the smell is really good and it kind of you can kind of get like a Christmassy vibe from that um, you know like snow cake and things like that then I finished off two body conditioners a snow fairy one and yummy mummy from the kitchen can't go wrong with either I still think I lean more towards the snow fairy definitely and um, what else we've got we've got shaved eye shaving cream so this is the kitchen one really like how this feels makes my skin super soft when i use it and it smells really really good and then i've got two body sprays i finish off a bottle of big and i also finish off a bottle of snow fair you can see how long i've had this out because you can see that i've had it maybe displayed over there because this side is darker than the other side because it's faded i absolutely love the big one i've got another bottle of big in my cupboard as a backup and obviously snow fairy i've got two bottles of those raring to go um and then the last thing i've got my goodness this is such a long video is a little candle and this is from the edwin berry candle company that i got in york a few years ago with alex and that's all finished and it smells like the body shop tangerine smell it's really nice but yes that is all my empties are you still here did you watch it all the way through at the end? If you did, let me know. What things have you been going through this month or these past couple of months? What Anything that you would recommend me try? Let me know in the comments um, down below. But if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. And once we hit 2,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. Well, I'm already doing the giveaway now. You can watch the video here. But the giveaway will end. So keep subscribing. That's not right. I don't know. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>